Hi students, hi guardians. I wanted to show you a little bit more about IXL. We are going to be using it for homework for a little while to see if this helps our students fill in gaps that are missing in their math skills. So when you log into your website on your computer, laptop, even as a browser on your phone, this is what you see. You can also do almost identical things on a tablet and iPad, but you can't on the app on a phone. So your homework is going to be working on recommended skills. I'm changing it up a little bit because so many students are not working on IXL at the beginning of class that it's almost like that 10 minutes is kind of going up in flames. So we're going to be working on recommended skills at home from 2 p.m. until 8 a.m. That is your time frame that I'm going to be looking for. So when you do your recommended skills, make sure that you're doing the math. So like this looks like math. This looks like math. Now, if something looks like reading, um, vocab with something that Miss Adams would do, please don't do that for your part of your math homework. Now, this is how you tell what is happening. Click on analytics at the top in the green bar. This is how I'm going to know if you're doing what I'm asking. So parents, you can have your kid log in. You can have them show you this. When you go to analytics, you're going to pick the time frame that you're looking for. So for me, I'm going to pick Monday to Sunday when I go and check off your homework. So this is my student for the last week. They have done one hour and 15 minutes of skill practice. This does not count diagnostic, which is why I've been asking you guys to finish the diagnostic. This is where I'm going to be finding the information. I'm going to add it up, make sure that your blue um, bar graph, which is the time that you've been at home, so that's homework, again, 2 p.m. to 8 a.m., is going to be 100 minutes over the course of that time frame. If you scroll down, you can see exactly what you've done. Now, this is a kid's profile. This is not a teacher side. So you, parents and students, can find out the exact same thing that I'm looking for. So this is telling me that on Saturday from 647 to 554, we did 14 minutes of practice on this skill. And as you go down, you can see that we did three minutes, 12 minutes. So this entire bar graph at the top of the screen is what is going to add up all that skills practice. These are skills that were recommended through our profile. So they're not suggested skills from the teacher. I'm kind of pulling back like I told you guys because if we do suggested skills from the teacher, I think now that's gonna be in class because I need you guys to be practicing at home. This way, IXL tells you if you are wrong. So if you're going through practice, and you get too many questions wrong, your um, smart score is gonna drop, but also you're going to have a chance to click and read why you did something wrong. So if you chose true and it's false, it's going to talk you through it. So I will do another video to show a little bit about that. But as you go through, you can, um, click on the skill plan even, and you can find out other things that you might need help with. You can always use IXL as well to help you throughout um, our units and our studying, but our homework, at least for the time being, is going to be IXL so that you can figure out what skills you need to fill in. So remember, go to analytics. You're going to be able to pick the time frame and you should be aiming for about 15 minutes every day, seven days a week to get to your 100 minutes for the week. Let me know if you have any questions.